Ireland perhaps standing on the verge of history. But make no mistake, this all-black side might be new and fresh-faced, but they are still mighty, mighty opponents. And Andrew Mertens gets us underway. High, long click into the arms of Anthony Foley, who captained Ireland against Samoa here last Sunday. Fullback. Picked up by Maxwell, enormous tackle by Eric Miller. Ireland have conceded the penalty, but Miller making his intentions clear from the outset. Terrific tackle from Miller. Well, it was rather unfortunate because not only did he make the tackle, but he spilled the ball as well against Norm Maxwell. Foley bearing down. This is Richie McCann, the debutant. Major out to Howlett. Oh, stretching his six foot eight frame to its limit and allowing string of this opportunity. Horgan's underneath it. It's terrific take by Richie McCaw. Lomu at scrum half, Mertens where he ought to be at fly half. String bean stringer, no real contest. Collected by McCaw. And this is Mertens looking to open it up. Tries to find space, but it's occupied by Shane Horgan. O'Driscoll is up in support on his right. He doesn't need him. Foot into touch just. We can only assume that Shane Horgan there said, hang on a minute, give me another five minutes and then we'll then we'll have a look. He still looks a little ginger, Shana, doesn't he? And I guess that with the, the cool down of the ten minute half time period, he wants to see see can that warm up again and see can it loosen out. And I think everybody in like this most Irish players in this ground will certainly want to see him stay on the park. Rarely has Lansdowne Road belted out the fields of Athen Rye with such gusto at the start of the second half. Warren Gatland, what is he thinking at the moment? That's the All Black 22, Humphreys. O'Driscoll, tackled by Major. Balls come loose, Lomu, McDonald, just happy to clear at the moment. Well, they did well to win that because, and this is what he's been picked for, but Richard McCaw was lightning quick onto that loose ball with a blink of an eye he'd that, he'd that ball had been distributed and turned what was a dangerous position from a New Zealand perspective into a potential attacking option for them to drop those kinds of goals on the run as well he uh, didn't need to wait half stride bang three more points Hickey half thinks about the run inside to Wood now if he could score from the halfway line hammered to the floor by Richie McCaw the open side flanker and I think New Zealand have stolen this from the men in black, the original men in black. No Hollywood imitation. This lot charged down almost by Richie McCann. And these are early days for Richie McCann, and he's following in a pretty decent line of succession. Michael Jones and Josh Cronfeld, but he looks busy, doesn't he? He looks very, very busy. He's really come from nowhere, and quite a lot of controversy back in New Zealand around a selection, an uncapped player. He's certainly very quick about the park, got a good pair of hands, and he's not there for nothing. Crunching down on his ribs. And drop seven, drop Ireland seven. having to do the hard yards in defence, though. And again, the All Blacks conceding the penalty. But they know that for the first time in the match, the clock is on their side. And Howlett on the wing. Let's see what they do with this. A manga to Lomu off the wing. Now we need some big tackles. Oh. Dempsey was terrifically brave, halted the momentum, still the danger's there, and the All Blacks diving in, and the man who deserves a military medal is Gervin Dempsey. Humphreys, Mags coming in on the crash ball, almost beat the tackle of Richie McCaw. Well, Ireland need to get their work, their line-out working, it's been a little bit rocky for the last 20 minutes of this half. Need a good one. McCall, the man of the match. <coughs> Humphreys again. This time he gets the ball away with a little more comfort. And that will do. They came so, so close to doing something no one has done 
in nigh on 100 years Ireland and beat the All Blacks. They were ahead at half time and people began to wonder, but in the second half, the All Blacks forced their way back into it and John Mitchell's side in their first test showed their mettle. Thorne, Howlett, Major, Lomu and Hewitt with all those tries in the second half. Eric Miller scored one late on for Ireland and for Warren Gatlin's team, but no disgrace, a terrific performance by Ireland, but the All Blacks are still there to be beaten. Final score here in Dublin, Ireland 29, New Zealand 14.